All right, guys, quick loft update. Today is the official release date. Um, I've attempted to release them before and it was absolute chaos. My blood pressure was through the roof. So I sh shut them down again. I was releasing box at a time and then I eventually uh, graduated to releasing uh, six boxes at a time, every opposing box uh, for a day or so after day five. Because after that, I really am not too concerned about another male topping a hen. Uh, but today I can no longer wait. I have to release them all. Uh, there's been a little bit of fighting. There's been a little bit of chaos, but not much. I think 11 out of the 12 boxes are pretty secure on where they need to go. And then it has not been an issue. One thing that I find that helps, and I know I've talked about this in the past guys, is add a little nesting material. Uh, of course, my lazy ass waited too long to get pine needle mulch and my local nursery no longer carries it for the year. Um, and it's been snowing heavily, so I really can't find a dry source to just pick it up myself, which I will. I'm not beyond, you know, above that necessarily, but I just can't seem to find a dry source of pine needle right at this point. So I'm gonna use a little bit of straw. And again, it's not so much that they need to build an aggressive nest. It's so it's more to help them find their box and learn their box. Um, as the cockbirds constantly get straw to their nest, kind of like that cockbird up there, he'll start to remember that that's his and he'll start to defend it. Second to that, the hens start to lay in that nest and it gives the cocks a little bit of relief because really what's happening, I think, is the cocks are so worried about the hens that they'll constantly drive them. They'll drive the hens back and forth, back and forth. And what ends up happening is the hen will land in the wrong box. She's only been here a couple days. Uh, and then there goes the chaos. There goes the fighting again. So I think by the hens staying put, it gives the cocks a little bit of relief. They'll go down, get some straw, build their nest. And I think it just calms everything down. Um, see that pair down there? They don't belong down there. And until that cockbird finds them because he's out in the aviary, they're going to sit there and think that that's their box, which it is what it is, guys. You have to let them fight it out. Um, unless you want to keep them locked up. I don't have that luxury. I work every single day almost. And I don't have the luxury to come here in here and release them. And it's not good. It's not good for the hens. They need the nutrition. They need the, the grit to develop good eggs or strong eggs. So I can't keep coming in here every couple hours. I just, I can't. You know, I wish I could, I, but I simply can't. Nor do I want to. I have 12 boxes in here and it takes a lot of effort to feed and water 12 different boxes of birds. So I don't want to do that. Release them. Let them fight it out. It is what it is, guys. Um, hopefully we can avoid a lot of the broken eggs and and dead babies this year because I just I don't know if I can take any more of it I changed the entire atmosphere of this loft here just to try to com combat that this year and I'm hoping I don't have that issue I'm thinking I probably still have a pair that'll give me trouble so I'm watching them aggressively now it's Sunday I have the day off and we'll go from there guys like I said a quick update just to see how everything is going hopefully you guys your breeding season is going just as well um, like I said a little bit of trouble but not something I can't maintain at this point uh, I won't lie to you this there has been a couple times where I've had to pull birds out of the wrong loft uh, and, or out of the wrong box a little more aggressively than I'd like to but it is what it is and now the hens coop is exact opposite I released those birds after about the third day and I've not had a single issue those birds know exactly where to go it's strange it's I don't know what it is maybe because I put that much more energy in this loft and that's what's causing the issues uh, but they know exactly what to do so I've not had an issue with them with this bunch here because these are sort of I shouldn't really say my main breeders uh, but I am sort of more focused on getting a few more babies out of these birds this year and I think I'm putting that energy out and that's where I'm having the issue so like I said today's the official release date it's going to be what it's going to be guys we're going to let them fight it out and and go from there figure to take you guys along like i said a quick update we'll see you guys on the next one